The people, the headlines, the issues impacting you, all on This Week in Cincinnati on 9 in Your Side. Welcome back, everyone. So the holidays are a time for families to share time together. Maybe a good meal, some memories, and plan for the future. And it's with that last idea in mind that many organ donor groups recommend maybe you should let your family know if you want to be an organ donor. Joining us to talk about more about how to navigate that conversation is Andy O'Malley. She's with Life Center Organ Donor Network. Um, Andy, I've known you such a long time. We've been kind of part of this Life Center situation together. I, I yes. believe in organ donation. I will put, put that out there 100% as a living kidney donor. Right. Um, and it's a, but and so I thought it would be a good idea to say, well, this is a good time. Thanksgiving, you're all yes. sitting around the table. You should Absolutely. open a conversation, shouldn't we? Absolutely. Um, it is a great time. You know, family is gathered around, and you know, there's so many other things happening in the world today. Um, not all of which are positive. Yeah, put the so, politics aside. So, let's talk about something yeah, we so can talk yes, about. Yes, and, and making a positive impact. And so organ and tissue donation is just that. You know, every day 22 people die waiting for life-saving transplants in this country. Um, and one organ and tissue donor can help up to 60 people. And so it's important to have those conversations. Uh, let your family know what it is that you would want. Um, and when you go to the BMV to renew your driver's license, it's a simple yes. It used to not be this way, but it is now that when you do check that box yes at the BMV, you don't longer really have to tell your family, but it's not a bad idea to just have the conversation anyway, because that is there correct. are choices should your time come up. Right. There are choices as to what is taken, right? Absolutely. You, When you do designate yourself as a donor, you can make those specifications if there are certain things that you would not want to donate. Um, but yes, when you designate yourself, that is legally binding. It's first person consent. So it cannot be overturned by It used by to be lady. able to be to overturned. That Correct. happened when my mom died Correct. for sure. So. But that changed recently. But so why do we even have to tell our families then? It, I think because, you know, at the time of a loved one's death, obviously it's shocking many times. It's a sad, very sad, sure, emotional sure. occasion. There's that bit of peace knowing what your loved one would have wanted. Yeah, just so to be able to say, know. well, that's what she wanted. Absolutely. She wanted to do this, and we're following her last wishes, absolutely. right? Absolutely, absolutely. A lot of other conversations you can have along those lines, but organ and tissue donation is so important. As you mentioned, people yes. die every day waiting, and these yes. things we don't need to take them with us, do Absolutely, we? and it's just, there's such a, a wonderful benefit, and it's such a legacy that someone can leave when they're no longer here. I mean, to be able to say that, you know, your family member was able to help someone through the gift of cornea donation, donation or um, tissue bone, skin I mean they're just so many ways burn victims need yes. skin yes. and it, it's imagine a little kid burned in a fire and being able to you're helping that child right. I mean you don't need it right? right and we have one of the best burn centers here with with the shrine um, that helps children from all over the world and much of the skin that Life Center recovers goes to help those patients and so it is it's important to have that conversation. And by having that conversation, you might change someone else's mind sitting Absolutely. at that table. And we under under checking the people not checking the box primary I don't know who those people are, but there's more percentage of African Americans that don't do that, right? What yes. can we do to convince them? I think it's really just continuing the dialogue. It's having the conversations, you know, a lot of times there's some there's some myths and misconceptions. There's some apprehension just over past Is it medical. Because religions all say it's fine now. All major religions support donation as a final act of giving. You know, what I have found a lot of times is that these myths will just stay within generations of families and they just cling on to them. So it's really important to have that dialogue and start to peel that back and realize you know, you can do this, you can help someone, and it is a good thing. Andy, you folks do great work. Thanks Thank so much you. for being with us. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Same to you. So if you want more information about organ donation, here is some information about Life Center. The website is lifepassiton.org, Life Pass It On, all one word there. The phone number is 513-558-5555 or 800-981-5433. This Week in Cincinnati is coming right back.